when your trail is broken and you have to resort to uh, rather packing it in here at Lid Cart Circuit, it's bright and early, you can see the state motorsport guys pulling in, uh, but basically we're a little bit early, Nick isn't here yet, so I've just sort of pulled into a big space, um, I don't quite know where we're going to go, so... Yeah. Oh, yeah. Didn't get to go out, we only did a few laps. But yeah, some teeth are clearly thin. First session immediately destroyed personal best by um, best part of four tenths, three tenths, which is incredible. Um, given it was my first few times run oh, hello, on um, on this car, so I was really encouraged by that. Beautiful day actually. Um, really, really happy with the progress. And then as the sessions came on, who the f has moved my mirror? Um, as the sessions went on, we had a, we had trouble in the second session when the engine sprocket went. Um, it was a bit thin on the teeth, and then it eventually just gave way a few laps in. But I would explain the missing revs we had in the first session. Uh, track fell away a bit after that, um, but that was the same for everyone. We were catching, staying with quick people like Josh and all that, so 
pretty happy with that. And then last session of the day, boom, uh -huh, 100th of Bobby Grove, uh, 38 to 6, which is the best part of 8 tenths quicker than I went last time. So overall, really positive day. We've got the car just where I like. Really hopeful for tomorrow. Catch you then. Ciao. That's lush, lush, mate. Yeah, go on. Let's come on. Throw it in. Throw it in. Throw it to me. Come on. Uh, uh, here comes the uh, Tom set. Uh. <laughs> Cheers, babe. I'm going for an adventure. Hi, Bye. Bye. See you at the driver's briefing with my megaphone. Race number has been stolen, so I'm racing with my lucky number three. No, it takes about two sessions to run it properly. Ish. Red car circuit, make some noise! No, everyone's looking at I don't care. <laughs> Prepare to be bin. Bill Vaughan versus Randa. Thumbs up. Oh, friend. Oh, new friend. friend. Oh. So, yeah, 
of these battery terminals equals a DNF, so it's not a dead last. Not good. last people to leave the circuit. Very, very, very long day. Unfortunate ending, ended up dead last. Started off pretty well. We were able to get sort of close to the pace we were doing yesterday in practice, which is great. First heat, um, we went backwards slightly, but we were able to keep up with people like Mike and that. Tom just pipped us in the end, but we had some really good battles. Uh, it was a little frustrating to drop back, but overall we had some good racing. Uh, Pre-final, um, it was all right. It was, I made a, I got shuffled back a bit by, um, Mark from Ambition, but I um, made a really good move. I was really happy with it in the straight. Uh, sent it down the inside, got past him. Then I was lining up Lee, um, who I'm quite close with on pace. And I, I was catching the train ahead. I was about to make another move, just lining him up, got a good run. Then ran the curb and then suddenly just lost drive. Um, originally, I thought I'd lost the chain, because uh, usually that's what happens. Um, I thought I'd hit the curb too hard, but I hadn't. Uh, came to the pits, restarted it, and it worked again. But it turned out uh, when the battery terminals had gone loose, I think. So, um, yeah, not good there. So, tying that up, went lower on the gearing to give me legs on the straight for the final. Yeah, it didn't pan out. We had a great start. Went around the outside about three or four people. Um, but I just got stuck behind Steve so much, which really hampered me. Um, went for a kind of a ridiculous do or die move because I could get on the power early, I was nice and smooth coming up to the straight, I'd get right up to the back of him and then you eke out a bit of a gap somehow, which is weird, I don't know, because the revs were good, the gearing was good, the cart felt good, just didn't seem to pull all the way. Um, maybe it was more me, but I was surprised because I could close quite quickly on him without scrubbing speed. Um, but then after that, do or die move, got shuffled back a couple of spots, but I would have been caught if I hadn't really tried it at some point. And then there was a great battle between Jack and Steve, and they nearly made contact and went, both of them took each other off almost, and I tried to undercut, it didn't quite work. Ended up losing out last corner. <sighs> so re really frustrating, um, especially as we had so much more pace. We're still a lot quicker than Steve. Um, he's been mobile chicane a bit on the apex through the chicanes. But yeah, it's frustrating, but the positive is we have good pace and we can build on this. So, thank you to everyone who helped me this weekend, especially Nick, um, Steve, Granddad, Dad, and all that. But yeah, looking forward to the next one at Bayford in a couple of weeks. See you then.